fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, this is a new one. Uh, this is a request from Heath Keim. Heath wanted to watch me react to Trombone Shorty and Dave Grohl performing the song In Bloom. Now, Trombone Shorty, I didn't even, I've never even heard heard of this guy or this band. I don't know if it's a guy or a band. I'm not 100% sure. I know who Dave Grohl is, obviously. Now, In Bloom, I know that's a Nirvana song, and I've heard this song before, so this is, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. It's not Nirvana. It's another artist slash band with Dave Grohl. I don't know. I guess I'll I guess I'm going to grade this on a performance. Uh, I, I'm, I know the song. I'm familiar with the song, so I can't really grade it on the song. So I'm gonna grade this strictly on the performance. Okay, so we're gonna take the safe road here. Uh, this was posted by Cat C, and this video has 430,465 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Trombone Shorty and Dave Grohl in Bloom. Okay, so I'm guessing Trombone Shorty is the name of the band. Okay. Oh, Trombone Shorty's Voodoo Throwdown. I love how they spell Throwdown. That's great. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I can't right now. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I can't right now. This is... F <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun to watch. Okay, there is a lot happening here. Um... Putting the song completely aside, right? Okay, we're not even talking about the song. Uh, we're talking about talking about the performance. These guys are all having fun. They're moving around the stage. Their horns are up. Uh, everybody in the band, the string players are rocking out. Dave Grohl looks like he's back there having a great time. Uh, auxiliary percussionists are having fun. I mean, this is just a fun time right now. I I just, I can't help but laugh because it's just, it's brilliant. It really is. Let's keep going.
I gotta pause. I gotta pause. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're have listen. They're having a blast. You can tell these guys are having fun. You can tell they are, and that translates from the stage to the crowd. If the crowd sees the band having a good time, the crowd is automatically going to have a good time as well. So, very smart. My only complaint right now is. These guys have got their back to the crowd for way too long. I mean, especially if you guys are the centerpiece, you know, being the quote-unquote front men of the group, you should not be turning your back to the crowd for very long. Look, if you got to turn your back to the crowd, do it. But do it for like, you know, five, maybe six seconds at most, and then get back to facing the crowd. Right now... They're kind of ignoring the crowd. And if you stay there for too long and you keep your back to the crowd for too long, the crowd is going to start to feel neglected. So you don't want to do that for too long. They've done it for a little too long already. Hopefully they'll turn around. I, I see this guy's already turned around. Looks like this guy's turning around. Hopefully this guy turns around pretty soon here too. Uh, let's keep going here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. good. was fun i'm sorry it was dirty it was sloppy it was it was you know it, it wasn't clean at all but you know what it was fun and sometimes that's more important well there you go folks that was trombone shorty with dave Grohl back there on the drums uh performing the nirvana tune in bloom this was a request from heath keim now listen, I before I give my score, I just got to reiterate, I am not taking the song into account in any way, shape, or form, okay? Just letting you know, I've heard the song before, I can't grade it on the song. I am strictly basing the score on the performance I saw. Basing it completely on that, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this an 8.2. Yep, 8.2. I feel great with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? It was dirty, it was sloppy, it was out of tune, and I don't care. It was fun. This was a fun tune. This strikes me as the type of band that 
They base their entire following and they gain a following completely on their live shows, not their records, not their recordings, not their CDs or their albums. They are a live band and that's what they excel at. And their energy, their stage energy and their stage presence is completely evident of that. Um, the drumming, okay, obviously you got Drave Gold. Drave Gold, keep that in. That's be real right there. Obviously we got Dave Grohl back there. Um, Rocking on the drums. He knows the song from like the back of his hand, so we know he's gonna do a good job on it. The other drummer was over there too. Playing with two drummers is always kind of dangerous because they gotta be locked in. They weren't locked in. <laughs> there were there were parts where they were not locked in. It was a little dirty, it was a little sloppy. Um the bass player, he was getting down, man. He was having fun, he was rocking out, he was having a good time. Um was he playing perfectly? No. <laughs> Again, a little dirty, a little sloppy. Uh, but his stage energy, man, his facial expressions, his movements, his motions, he was rocking out. He was having a good time. Uh, guitar players, left and right. Couldn't, I mean, I, I could hear them, but nobody really stood out. Still, great stage energy, great stage presence. Uh, adding to... The, the fuel, adding more fuel to the fire that was this <laughs> barn burner. Um, this, 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 this burning hoedown. Um, the auxiliary percussionists back there. I, a lot of people say auxiliary percussionists can't perform. I beg to differ. If you ever want to see an auxiliary percussionist perform, first of all, go to the very top. Tito Puentes, okay? Go check out some live footage of Tito Puentes performing live. He will show you that an auxiliary percussionist can perform with stage presence. Here's another one, Sheila E. Watch her perform. She is another great auxiliary percussionist with great stage presence. My go-to guy personally, the guy I love to watch, an auxiliary percussionist who is a total showman, watch Steve Reed of the uh, of the Rippingtons, that guy, man, I remember the first time I watched the Rippingtons perform live. I could not take my eyes off of him. I'm a bass player. I want to watch the bassist, right? I, I'm I'm supposed to be watching Kim Stone playing the bass. I could not take my eyes off Steve Reed. That guy was just a ball of energy back there, and he would come to the front. He would bring a percussion instrument with him up to the front and rock out. They would run back to the percussion set. He's jumping all over the place and hitting. You know, he's jump. He's got cymbals set up where he, he can't hit them unless he jumps. So he has to jump and hit the cymbals. And man, he was fun to watch. And I I wish this these auxiliary percussionists would have taken a page out of that book because they they got a, they missed an opportunity to rock out. They did, but they were still adding to the song, which is nice. Now. <laughs> Let's talk about those horn players. I could not hear those sax players worth a dang. I, I couldn't hear the, the tenor sax, and I could not hear the berry sax. But I could see them, and they were rocking out, and they were having a great time, and that was awesome. The trombone player, I could hear on occasion. I was actually really impressed with this playing. I was. He, he was actually a very good trombone player. I mean, he's hitting these notes, and more importantly, he was articulating and hitting these subdivisions like, like triplets and just did it, did it, did it, using great tongue work uh, to 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 uh, to get the articulations that he was needing to get and the subdivisions he was needing to get to get great slide work too. My only concern, and I've said this before, um, whenever you tilt your trombone up. For those of you that don't play trombone, let me let me explain something. You're pushing hot air through cooled piping. What happens? Condensation, right? You're gonna get spit built up at the bottom. That's why there's that little valve. It's called a spit valve. You know, after every three or four songs, you better empty that thing out because it's otherwise you're gonna get a bubbling sound. Um, <laughs> well, it forms at the bottom. You're playing down. It forms at the bottom. What's going to happen when you tilt that thing up? What happens when you point that slide up? Where does all that condensed saliva go? 
it goes down. Now it could go down one of two ways, down towards the bell to, to loop around out of the bell, or, and this has happened to me before, it's disgusting, it falls right back to the bell piece. Oh, dear God, it's gross. So hopefully, hopefully he's emptying his spit valve every like, you know, every minute or so, just to make sure nothing comes back and get that backwash. Gah! Gross. But uh, the energy was undeniable. The stage presence was undeniable. And that's why it's getting an 8.2. It was a great performance. Was it dirty? Yes. Were there wrong notes? Yes. You know, were there mistakes? Yes. Do I care? No. Why? Because the stage energy was so good. And that's why it's getting the 8.2. So, 8.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.